Right then. Very quickly, brake change. Brake pads change, should I say. And then 12, so fucking hell. Fucking wood as well, aren't you, you bastard? I've never replaced these before. On, I mean, on this bike. God, if I was copper grease on him, then I was going to say, fuck me. There you go. Oh God. It's in better days, hasn't it? Look at that. <laughs> Master of Zoom. Yeah, it's just in better days. We'll give it a clean out. Pop the reservoir off. And uh, I'm going to replace the lines, but not this weekend. I just want to get the pads bedded first. They're not the shittiest condition of these pads whatsoever. You know, they've still got a millimetre or so on them. Step three. <laughs> I hate the fucking things. So I'll clasp off there. Ah. Do we have any brake fluid? <laughs> Maybe that's about as spongy as fuck. That and the tyres. Oh. Yeah, she's seen better days. Ugh. So while we've got these in here, what you want is you want a... Where the fucking hell I put it? You want to get yourself one of these? This is a um, brake wind back tool. It's called a screwdriver. Come on, you fucker. This is supplied by Facken. <laughs> Try and do them evenly. Obviously don't do this on brake pads that are new. There we go, like that. So we've got a nice big opening there. Yes, you've scratched the fuck out your pads, but these are old ones, so fuck them. Next thing I like to do, you stick it, you can stick it back on the caliper, on, on back on the bike. Oh, fucking hell fire. We'll clean out all these holes. This just gives you something to hold on to. I'll hold it for you. And then we need to crack that because that's the pin right there. That's the pin that holds it all. Holds it all in. The pin that holds it in. <sighs> oh, come on, you fucking bastard. Right now we're spinning. Can get an Allen key. Little skinny bastard. Push it in the back. Like so. Just push the pin out. There we go. It's not the worst one I've ever seen. Let's put a tiny bit of grease on it, copper grease. More actually at the base of the thread is where they've put it. again. It's nice for it to hold it for you but there we go there's our pads you can see someone's <laughs> someone's been at the cop for grease the fuckers look at all that you see that is not contacting anything retards all that grease they put on there it's obviously not touching anything fuck's sake yeah, it's all inside the pistons for no fucking reason. Let's get the other side of that clip off. I'm taking the clip off, you don't have to. I'm taking the clip off so we can give them a clean. 
because look at the shit on my hands already. You see that? Yeah, you can see that. Take that clip off. So the, there, you can see there, there, there and there, that's the rubbing surfaces of the pad. So they have these little, well, nipples. Someone's put a tiny bit of copper grease on it, but there is no copper grease between there. It has done fuck all. And that's basically how much they've moved, which is nothing. It's just, I love it, wankers. Yeah, let's give it a, um, a pump out. One's a bit stuck. This one on the inside's a bit stuck. Just gonna trap my fingers. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Just get that other piston to come out. So I'm clean all the jism off it. I won't let go of my fucking pads. Let go of my pads, you bastard. There we go. Right, we're we'll going to get a brush and get in there. Right, so I've got two brushes here. I've got a plastic nylon one and a uh, brass one. So it's the brass one. I want to get in there. Now all this brake dust and stuff, I recommend, if you can see, there is really no need. God, fucking hell, these have never been done, have they? There is no need for any solvents. Now, yeah, everyone loves to attack them with brake clean, but this stuff comes off pretty easy when it's dry. So I'm not saying there's anything against brake cleaner and carb cleaner and shit like that. Brake cleaner and carb cleaner pretty much nearly identical. These are copper, uh, copper, aluminium calipers. Um, I was going to say aluminium calipers and steel pots. Um, and there's rubber bits on carbs and there's rubber bits on these. So the carb cleaner and brake cleaner are pretty much almost the same stuff. The reason why they're good is they're a mediocre cleaner to be quite honest. Um, as a solvent, they are uh, good because they evaporate. And then I've got some compressed air. You can see most of it blows off. When you go and get your brakes or your bike service, this is pretty much all they do. Right now, uh, right now. <laughs> oh, right, so now we've done all that, let's uh, give our clip a clean. As you can see, most of it's dust, and this is why I don't like getting it wet. Because look how easy all that comes off. If you keep it dry, you can see that these have got copper, way copper again. These have been copper coated. Well, it'd be copper something. There we go, you see? Fucking laughing. No need to dick about, fucking ever. New brake pads. Now, what are these? Double H sintered, same as the back really. And what I do is I don't touch them at all, put them together, that's how you hold them. So you don't fuck them. And there's two ways you can do this. You can either do this, I'll do both, fuck okay, it, why not just show you both? 
and oh, my pin needs cleaning. So I'll take them out, keep them together. Just making it smoother. I'm not going to clean the shit out of it. I generally don't polish it back to pure lovely metal for the simple fact is I'll do that when I get you buy a new one if it's that bad. So you can put these in and put your pin in or you can put your springs in and then put your pin in. And I will show you both like so. So we're in there like that. Where's my clip? Wrong way, idiot. And then now, this is your problem, is you are fighting the cow the pads. Oh, fucking hell. And they only give you short screws. Or, if you do it the other way, which we'll do it on the other caliper, you're basically fighting the spring when you put <laughs> the pads in. It's completely up to you, really. Quick. While we're here, get my brush out, clean around this, because why not? Try and clean as much of the back side as I can. Like so. Now, usually you don't have to check that much. Pull your pads apart. You can do it from the other side, as in looking down here. Pull your pads apart. There we go. Like so. Give your uh, threads a clean. Now these really do need solvent cleaning, so we're going to do that. I like to. I love compressed air. You get yourself some cans of compressed air. Seems expensive, what it is, but now we've got them cleaned up. I'd love to do the threads in the caliper as well, but it's a pain in the ass. And I'm in a rush. I haven't got much time. Drop a Loctite, whatever, just as long as it's a fucking, it says strong one. <laughs> as long as it says the strong one. Or medium's fine. It's just to make sure the fucker doesn't back out on you because that would be a really bad thing to happen. Same thing with the back one break that we did you've got to go through the bedding in procedure which basically means don't go out as soon as you've fitted new brakes and uh, try and break the land speed record uh, torque specs for these I have no idea let me go and find out the manual says 26. Oh, fuck off. 26. Fucking don't believe that. <laughs> a bit tighter. But she has got locked tight on there, so it's probably the clamping load's probably a lot higher. Everything's ticky to boo. Pump my uh, brake lever. There we go. Right, do the other side. God, this one looks a bit more acky. Next we'll be doing the uh, replacing the brake lines with the uh, did ones. Uh, did. Fucking did. Uh, hell ones. That tight one. Top. 
always gets a bit sticky. Oh, fucking hell. I thought she were done. Yeah, there's some right shit on there. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Same kind of dealio. Let's reach up. Where's my fucking brakes gone? Also watching the fluid level, make sure she doesn't um, disappear. And I'm suck loads of air into fuck me. <coughs> people all the time saying don't hang your calipers from the lines you have no idea how fucking strong these caliper lines are yeah I could pretty much hang me off these and yes I will test that one day <laughs> oh fucking screwdriver of course so while we're here we might as well talk about another way you can do this with these so you might be tempted just to do that don't do that um, get a pad in there like that you can't actually even use the other surface and really you should have something on the back as well on the caliper but the caliper can take quite a lot of guff now when you're doing this it is also a good idea to put your caliper pin back in to hold your pad. Now you might be, why would I want to do that? If this caliper sits against this seat and you're compressing it, all you're doing is <laughs> you're kind of basically trying to squash the caliper into itself. Eh. Um, what am I doing? Shift it along, there we go. You can also put your pad on the back here if you want. To stop marring up your caliper. It's a bit too big for my grasp. Let's get this off. Most calipers, nearly all of them, are very, very similar. If you can't get your calipers off, don't undo these. These are what are holding your two caliper halves together. Give that a clean. I'm not going for a beauty pageant or anything. Get the majority of that shit off in my lungs with the uh, nicotine and tar. Fuck me. Look at all this shit. When you're doing this, it seems like it doesn't matter how much scrubbing you do there's always more shit I might get in there and give that a blow look at that where's that screwdriver gone look at all that baked on shit this is the other thing that copper grease does because instead of being able to blow off like that it makes it all fucking mean you know like chair around your sprocket <laughs> no don't catch on the edge you fucking bastard there we go oh. open a bit more darling there we go 
Try to do this so you can fucking see. <laughs> and then these folded up, you cunts. There we go. You'll see that, yeah, that now and again when you get a push, a uh, another caliper a piston pops out. That's because it's a knob, but just do that. And you'll see that you try and get them even, just so you can get your pads back in. Where's that pin? That fucking pin needs a clean. Right, now I've got them right open like that. Now I can get in with the old brush again. Properly this time. Right then. Uh, yeah, we're going to do it the other way around this time, right, weren't we? Put the clip back in. So without the caliper there, uh, without the pads there, these clips are really easy to put in. When I can find little screws that go in there. I've got a fucking cut on my thumb. And that IP has just gone into it. <laughs> yeah, God, look at my fucking arms, you see? This is the shit that comes off these things. It's not a bad idea to give these. I say not a bad idea, I don't fucking do it, obviously. Maybe it's something I should. Give them a clean now and then. You know, people say to me, oh Matt, there's a lot of swearing in this, you knobhead or you whatever. It's weird actually, because all, most, mostly Americans, quite a few British guys. Uh, I mean, as in a comparison, there's only about 20 people, 30 people have ever moaned about it. But uh, it's funny because when they say you swear, they say basically, Everything. Oh, I've made it fucking worse now. They say everything that's just as insulting. Oh, you low-life scumbag. I'm like, well, why don't you just tell me to fuck off? It's the same bloody thing. You know what I mean? I just don't fucking get it. Oh, put the new pads in. Might be a good idea. Again, same trick, so I'll show you it. It's nothing magical. You just open it get the two halves and just don't touch them and then put them together like so jobs are good and not fucking difficult is it so when we put these in again just don't touch them they're a bit more of a knobhead there we go a bit more of a knobhead with that um <laughs> i forgot the pin again <laughs> Uh, pads in, pin in. You have to push your pads in, oh, until they jam like that. Push your pads in, push your pin in, and job done. So it's not there's not really that much difference. But I have heard people say, "Oh, you've got to do it this way first. You have to fuck off." Right then. There you go, so there's our fresh pads in. You can see. Great. Bingo. And then just grab the little lugs. Spread them apart either side of the disc. She goes on like, oh, fuck me. She goes on like so. <laughs> Where's the fucking Loctite? Other side, of course it is. So you have to put the Loctite right on the end of the thread. It's only a little dribble, you don't need to go fucking nuts. There is someone I know who goes absolutely nuts. <sighs> right on the end because the thread is um, on the caliper, sorry. So because the thread is on the caliper, these are just bore holes, these are clearance holes. So the thread is in the caliper end. So putting them, at the, they should be shouldered really. These should be, have a long shoulder on them. Fucking lazy fucking drawing house. Fucking Suzuki. Bit of Loctite. Which one is this for people asking? This is 290 thread locker, high strength. There. That's what it says. Just. Was it 290, did I say? Yeah, high temperature ones and all this. It's just to stop these fuckers from backing out. Good threads, good V threads, usually bind, so. 
click and a tiny bit more click and a tiny bit more right then so at yon end you can see she's finished uh, we're going to do all the flush and all the rest of it, so like I say, I'm not really bothered about that right now. You can see we're just on the lower end, and I haven't pu pumped the brake lever yet, so then pistons are going to have to come out to meet them. So, a bit of brake fluid in there, dot four, make sure you get the right one. Jobs are good, and that's it. So we're about halfway now, you see, if I'd gone lower there is a chance that you go past this pipe here that goes to your actual master cylinder and it could have sucked some air in so we've kind of averted that you just got to move it. there is you know you don't have to be shitting yourself about it. you just have to make sure when you push your pistons in the fluid is going to rise so it was lucky there was fucking hardly anything in this is on the lower level lower level and um, but when we come to pump these brakes we know they're going to come back in now they shouldn't come back in the same amount so because there's less wear on these pads and all the rest of it. So, your boot, which is this bloody thing that you can see it was all folded out. Clean this shit off this thing. And um, people go, oh, brake fluid's hygroscopic, it's absorbing moisture out there. It is, yeah. <laughs> Fold that back so it looks like that. Plop that on top, like so. Put your spacer there. So this has bleed holes. And you can see this, there's these tracks. How well can you see that in the fucking sunlight? You see there's them three tracks that go towards the centre. That's the bleed holes I was talking about in a previous video. Screw your cap back on. All right. A few more pumps just to make sure. Put our retaining clip. The retaining clip on this is just to make sure it doesn't vibrate loose because of mechanical precession, which we'll do a video about. Um, but due to vibrations and almost because you are sat on the handlebar there's a chance that this can not only well if it didn't have this clip it could rotate off basically this clip is not clamping it down this clip is going between these recesses here basically just stops it it's an anti-rotation device it's not squeezing the living shit out of it it's just stopping this cap from rotating basically this cap would have to bend this metal out of the way hope that makes sense and i'll see you in a bit or oh, i'll see you in the next bit where we do the brake lines clutch line replace all the fluid full stop and all the rest of it see you in a bit